Let's turn to this something happening at our lakes 1500 fish found dead in Saguaro and Canyon Lakes both very popular. It's a site that has many of those who love to fish out there take notice and also then call and report this to state wildlife officials. 12 News journalist Trisha Hendricks is joining us live outside of Arizona Game and Fish headquarters to explain what's going on. And Trisha, the big question is how boaters and fishermen and women help to prevent it from spreading to other lakes. Yes, we'll get to that in just a moment. But first, uh, the culprit in all of this golden algae toxin blooms. That's according to Arizona Game and Fish. And that's what all signs are pointing to, at least as of right now. And that's what they believe is leaving these hundreds of fish dead in the Salt River chain lakes. Uh, we're talking nearly 1,000 at Canyon Lake, 500 at Saguaro, affecting a number of different kinds of fish like shad, largemouth, and catfish, all different sizes too. Game and Fish staff recently collected water quality samples at both Saguaro and Canyon and discovered that golden algae toxin blooms, yes, those are to blame. The statewide water quality manager with Game and Fish says the worst case scenario in a situation like this would be that far more into the thousands would die, which is actually something that's happened in some of the Salt River lakes in the early mid to 2000s. We lost a significant portion of our fish population. Um, so in those cases, it's just it takes years of monitoring and then potential restocking to try to replenish that. But it takes years for those waters to get back to where they were angling wise. Wildlife officials tell us there's no way to prevent golden algae that they're aware of. They're still looking into that. They're trying to figure out what the conditions are that make it toxic and that makes it release those toxins into the water. Now, the best thing that boaters, anglers can do when they leave one of those lakes is to clean, drain, and dry their boat. That way they can make sure that they're not spreading any of those blooms to any other bodies of water. Live in North Phoenix, Trisha Hendricks, 12 News, Today in AZ.